Have questions like what holds everything together in the universe ever haunted you? Not just planets and stars, but even things that you cannot see. Questions like what stops one atom or molecule from sticking too hard to another or from drifting away completely. Hi, my name is Somya Pillai and in this episode of Pure Science, I will tell you about a new experiment from scientists at Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden, which has found a surprisingly simple way to make those invisible forces visible and that too using nothing more than light, salt water and flakes of gold. The experiment starts with something very small, a thin, tiny piece of gold. A piece so tiny that thousands of them could fit on top of a needle. Researchers suspended these gold flakes in a salt solution, basically salt and water, and then placed a drop of that solution on a glass slide coated with gold. Now here is where things start getting interesting. The gold flakes are naturally drawn towards the gold surface beneath. But instead of touching it, they just stop short, leaving a gap that's only a few billionths of a meter wide. That is what scientists call a nanometer scale gap. Now inside that tiny gap, light from the microscope gets trapped. It bounces back and forth between the gold surfaces. And depending on how wide the gap is, the light forms different interference patterns. To our eyes, that shows up as a change in color. That means that the gold flakes literally shimmer in different hues from red to green to gold. And that color isn't just pretty, it's data. It tells the scientists exactly how far the gold flake is from the surface and how the gap is changing in real time. Now what's actually causing the flakes to hover in place instead of sticking or floating away? It's all about a balance of forces. On one side, there's a mysterious but very real quantum force called the Casimir effect. It comes from tiny fluctuations in the electromagnetic field, the background energy that exists even in a vacuum. When two uncharged surfaces like our gold flake and the gold film come very close together, these fluctuations create a gentle but measurable attraction. You could think of it like a quantum scale version of gravity, but acting only at incredibly small distances. Now, on the other side is a repulsive force caused by the ions, the charged particles in the salt solution. These ions collect near the gold surfaces and push them slightly apart, creating an opposition electrostatic pressure. The flake is pulled down by the Casimir effect, but pushed up by the electrostatic repulsion. And at a very precise distance, just a few nanometers wide, those two forces balance perfectly. That's where the gold flake hovers, trapped between attraction and repulsion. What's amazing is that by changing how much salt is in the solution, the researchers can tune this balance. Add more salt and the electrostatic repulsion weakens and the flake moves closer to the surface. Add less salt and the repulsion strengthens, the flakes drift further away. And because every change in the gap changes the color of the light trapped in it, you can actually watch these forces in action, almost like a nanoscale light show. While this might sound like a neat physics trick, its implications are huge. For decades, scientists have known about these forces, the Casimir effect, the van der Waals interaction, electrostatic repulsion, but they've been notoriously hard to study in liquids. Traditional experiments often require complex instruments in vacuum chambers, and they can't easily mimic real-world conditions where most interactions in biology, chemistry, or nanotechnology actually happen in fluids. What the Chalmers team has done is create a simple, visual and remarkably sensitive platform to explore these invisible forces under realistic conditions. They've basically turned a droplet of salty water into a laboratory of quantum physics. And understanding how these tiny forces behave matters a lot. At the nanoscale, they decide whether materials stick or slide, whether nanoparticles clump together or stay apart, and how molecules self-assemble into complex structures. 
These same rules govern everything from how proteins fold inside our body to how dust clouds in space clump together to form planets and galaxies. That was all from the world of science today. I am Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science on the Print.